Hi everyone, welcome back at Charlotte from At Charlotte's House. Today I am prepping for a news segment and I thought you might like to see how I'm making this really fun pencil roll out of duct tape. Stay tuned. Any type of duct tape will work. I picked my favorite colors, but if you only have gray duct tape, go ahead and grab it. You're gonna start by unrolling I would say about your forearm. You can always trim it smaller, but you can't make it bigger. So I would say to err on the side of being too big. Now you wanna be careful. Duct tape is super, super sticky. So there's probably an easier way to do this, but I've had good luck just carefully lying it sticky side up on my work surface. And then you can choose your pattern if you're using different colors. They don't have to be measured. They don't have to be the same size. Again, we are gonna trim these down later. So I am going to take my second strip and I'm going to carefully line it up on the first strip. Again, sticky side up, so move slowly. Duct taped, it's really hard to pull apart. And I'm gonna overlap this, I don't know, one or two millimeters, not much at all. And then you can sort of gently smooth it down and you get another color. Again, you don't have to measure, but you wanna go slow. And I'm gonna repeat this until I have a width of duct tape that is a little bit wider than a pencil. Obviously this isn't a pencil, but it's pretty close. So I think I'm gonna do two more strips. Notice that I'm putting my tape lengthwise. There's no reason that you can't put your tape widthwise. I just figured that it would take a lot more strips of tape to make up this distance than it would just to do five longer strips, but it's totally an aesthetic decision. You can do it either way you like. So I have my five strips lengthwise. Now I'm gonna go back and I like to match the color. So if this is the medium blue, I'm gonna do the same strip of that. And this time I'm gonna very carefully line up the edges and I'm putting my sticky side down. This is when you wanna be careful because if you touch that tape, you might have to start again. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another length of duct tape and I'm gonna fold this around the edges. So to do this, again, I'm gonna put the duct tape sticky side up and then I'm gonna carefully lay this sheet on top. You don't really have to worry about centering it, but I'm gonna do my best. And then I'm just gonna fold this edge over. Do the same thing on this side. So now I'm gonna use my metal ruler. I'm gonna get my cutting mat. And now's the point when I'm gonna trim off those raw edges. I'm using an X-Acto knife with a pretty sharp blade. The same thing on the other side. Doesn't really matter how long your pencil case is because you're gonna roll it up. Now you're gonna need to do a little bit of measuring. So find whatever you're gonna be putting into your pencil case. Maybe it's pencils, maybe it's pens, maybe it's crayons. And you're gonna to wanna to get a sense of the length. So if I'm gonna be using this pencil, I'm gonna have a little pocket for it here and a little pocket for it here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a note of that. So to hold my pencil, I need to make a series of two parallel cuts and then the pencil can sort of tuck into those and I want each cut to be a little bit longer than half an inch you can adjust this depending on what you're putting into your pencil roll but for the pencils I've done I've realized that that's about the right length and so I'm gonna make a note of where I'm starting and I'm doing one cut every inch. So I'm putting my X-Acto knife in at 18 inches and I'm cutting through to about 18 and 5 eighths. 
I'm putting it in at 19, I'm cutting through to 19 and 5 eighths, so on and so forth. Farth? Forth. Okay. I'm gonna leave about three inches at the end of the roll, and that's what I'm gonna use as my flap, so I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna move my ruler over so that there's about a centimeter, maybe not even, between these incisions, and I'm gonna do the same thing. So essentially, you wanna make two parallel incisions. They need to be lined up exactly the same. All right, it's pretty hard to see, but I have two sets of incisions here, going all the way down, and then another pair here. This is where it's important to have a sharp blade because I want you to see how your pencils are gonna fit in. Do you see how they're sliding in? So to finish this, we need to add a little bit of an envelope flap here. I think it just makes it look kind of polished. So there's no reason that you can't just cut off each corner so that you have sort of a square shape. I think I'm gonna use my roll of duct tape and I'm gonna give this a little bit of a curve. Now I've been adding a little bit of a tie to mine. So here's how you're gonna make that. There's no reason that you can't use a piece of ribbon, something like that, but I happen to have a ton of duct tape at my disposal. So it's super easy. This is about the same length as I was using before. I'm just gonna fold this in half. And it doesn't matter if it's a little bit sloppy on the ends because I'm gonna trim that. To attach the ties, I have my little incision here. So I'm gonna thread them through. And then turn it over. So this is the inside of the pencil case. So I threaded my ties through that little slit and then I folded them over. I'm using duct tape that's the same color as the background and I've used my scissors to trim it so I don't have any rough end. And then I'm just going to place it right on top, smooth it down. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Have a great back to school. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.